Hey, hello friends. Uh, welcome back to the series. Uh, uh, in the last video, uh, we have uh, uh, required that you know we have added the uh, second network card for the internet connection. I have already added. If you look at, I go to the setting and here. See, I have added one um, bridge. Uh, to so why I added bridge uh, connect connection bridge network. The reason why. I have the internet connection on my uh, base. Uh, I can show you uh, internet connection on my base machine. So to getting internet connection and virtual machines, so you have to be a bridge uh, network. So the connection will get uh, through bridge. Okay. So just remember uh, this thing. And uh, on the last uh, uh, video, we have uh, oh share folder also disconnected. Let me connect the share folder. Go to the setting. I think this was already discussed I uh, soon on the last video I showed on the last video uh, yeah I just enable already mapped just click so click OK okay and now go to uh, folder option yes you will get okay just refresh it not an issue you will get um, or uh, otherwise you cannot disconnect completely okay and uh, go to the setting yeah sometimes it create problem but not an issue that's the reason we are here to resolve right that's why we technical guy uh, just repress it now open the folder option here you will get I think a restart may be required uh, no worries uh, already I have copied in C drive. I think you already know I have mapped in the last video, right? So I have copied in C drive. This is the system required folder to installing uh, this uh, script uh, So before start the installation I, I can tell you one thing like this script uh, having all the prerequisites of a system uh, That means what the, the script will work the script will check all the compatibility of operating system hardware everything for the system if it is okay, then it will start the um, I mean it will check the prerequisites whether it's installed or not if not then it automatically install okay so for this to running this script to successful of this script uh, we require the internet connection and that is there you can check uh, here internet connection is there okay um, not an issue so now you just open the power cell you need to go uh, the locations uh, like uh, cd dot dot okay cd dot dot so now we are in the c prompt i mean c drive go to the uh, sccm required the scenes directory sccm press f scm press enter so the um, script install config mgr prere gui underscore one four two sorry so just uh, int uh, press the tf I'm sorry uh, just type install install press the tf oh, oh no issue pre request uh, dot this and install stall uh, yes it should come I don't know why uh, I N S T A L L I fun C one I don't know it's not coming right so you need to put manually so for that uh, install I fun config otherwise we can do one thing rename copy okay and here we can paste it okay just enter uh, I don't know what happened just click close it reopen it oh I'm sorry that's the reason it was not happen uh, run as administrator okay cd dot dot cd dot dot okay then cd ccm prerequisites then inst I'm sorry, uh, have to uh, dot this one and then inst 
not all it's not there right so what you will do just copy these things okay and i'll just press enter uh why it problem i think it's correct right um config uh, request 1.4.2 Still, it is not working. Huh? Okay, not an issue. It's a power cell. You can uh, run with power cell also. Don't worry. We can do either way. Yes. Uh, so we can do in this way. See, first of all, uh, I can uh, tell you it's it will uh, so uh, uh, prerequisite tool will help for SCCM 2012. SCCM 2012 R2 and current branch. So these are the three things will uh, compatible for this tool. If you are going to configure uh, SCCM 2007, then this script won't be work. Okay, but yes, we will configure SCCM 2012 hence this uh, will work. So here all validation check passed successfully, right? So now our uh, um, goal is to install SCCM in primary side, right? Not a central, right? Uh, as for our diagram, as for our the um, uh, lab architect, uh, so we have a primary site we will create. See, to doing this thing, so we record internet that is there and here and install. So it will uh, detect OS build version that is running in PowerShell, okay? And it automatically check one by one, and if it is not, then it it will install, okay? So just uh, we need to wait and for the some time to successful all these things uh, uh, and and i will tell you in the meanwhile i can tell you oh if, uh, you can run and on the second site also but at that time you need to check this one second site and system site role if you install this uh, things will work okay uh, so and others others uh, there are varied options are that you can look into it right but our intention is to uh, build a primary site uh, server uh, so uh, this i have done so it will check one by one and uh, install all the prerequisites what we required so it is very easy okay And I will tell you one more thing like I have the documents uh, let's uh, wait for some time till the time it is installed I have a CCM document so it will easy to understand also where is that uh, let me open uh, where I kept I have document uh, to understand about uh, SCM 2012. No, here is not. Uh, uh, let bin what? Open. I think uh, I can get it here. Uh, yeah, it is there. No issue. This was the document. So I can tell you what requirement. Let's uh, do it in document mode here. See, I have a document you can look into it. SCM uh, 2012 requirement for the 2012 R2. So these are the operating system we can use for the SCM 2012 2012 uh, R2. And uh, for the SQL server uh, required for the SCM 2012, these are the things it required. If you look at uh, you can understand right and these things need to be uh, used okay um, sql server 2008 service factory data center standard and cumulative of nine okay for the 2012 if you install system these things will be needed whether you can uh, install sc uh, sorry sql server 2012 express cumulative update 2 otherwise you can any any of one okay these are the things and client operating system supported uh, by scm 2012 r2 is these are the client system uh, can be supported for the system 2012 okay xp is not supported guys for the 2012 
okay and uh, these are the minimum requirement uh, for uh, SCCM 2012 installation yeah I have given I think I given 8 GB RAM instead of 2 GB not an issue and uh, I have a 64 bit processor 1 gigahertz speed is there not an issue and I have minimum hard disk would be 50 GB but I have 100 I think 200 I have given okay and EDIC 8.1 also one of one from SCCM requirement this also required for the SCCM okay and uh, that's it and uh, these are the some interview questions I uh, have uh, kept over here and uh, what are things are they not in I mean dip between 2003 7 SCCM all things are there so let's check uh, whether SCCM is installed or is required yeah it is still you know it will take uh, time to install all these things uh, just wait and uh, we'll need it will automatically install how to know that it will install or not like if you sorry uh, it's not responding that means it is working uh, you can open the task manager okay view more and here you can see so see right see it is high utilizing CPU as well as uh, memory Ethernet the CPU is utilizing yes okay and uh, see power cell is working 53.7 percent is utilizing make it don't worry about it it will work it will install one by one otherwise uh, we can do one thing uh, yeah let's uh, open this uh, contribution manager if you check over here also you can get to know if it is already you know in, in behind if it is uh, you know started the installation all these things then you cannot do all these things let's see add uh, features next 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 uh, I think it is hanged or not responded if you look at now uh, let's try something power cell command no, it is not responding and just in the task okay we will check it but uh, I will tell you what need to be installed a manual we can install also so here you have to be go to the add and features and add role and features the next 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 uh, I know you have to be select this one uh, framework okay HTTP activation is required as is required okay Bits also required. Background intelligence services. Okay. Compact server is not required. Here, uh, remote differential and compression is required. Remote server administration is required. Um, Uh, I will tell you what things are required. It's not required. Branch case is not required. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, this one also you can choose. Compact also you can choose. Not an issue. But uh, these are things uh, be required. Mostly be required. Remote differential compression and remote server administrative tool. If you manage also, okay, rules of internet tool. See. No, these things are not required much. Uh, bits is required. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Click next. Next. Uh, here you need to so many things to required. SP dot net uh, required. Required. Uh, 
uh, Windows authentication your authentication is required and the basic authentication is required I also think it's not required but yeah, I can choose it mm, dynamic content compressions required uh, yes this one also custom login these things are required okay script input management services yes next you need to specify alternative source path to more or a missing source file and destiny uh, so here for the dot net you have to be select uh, okay once again specify the alternative path means you have to specify uh, to install the dotnet framework you have to be select this path it is given e source esxi right so what you will do uh, let me check whether uh, the 2012 server is mapped or not first of all here uh, go to the cd drive choose browse okay uh, all os uh, this is your windows 2012 r2 this one right okay press ok okay here what is the path uh, you go to here the system refresh it's d drive right d drive just open it source and assess this path is required okay and you have to put this path to install dotnet framework sorry yeah press ok then start installation so it will take time to install uh, the things okay wait for some time it might be required restart also so let's uh, uh, stop the video once installation will complete then we will start again okay thanks for watching this video if you like my video please thumbs up and be, uh, on, uh, I mean from to my video and uh, if you uh, want to any you know uh, videos uh, to your mailbox then you can subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much see you again